Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at stacks. Now stacks are a collection just like queues or array lists, but stacks are a little bit different than queues. If you remember from the previous tutorial, queues use what is called FIFO or first in first out, such as a, um, a line of people at a ticket booth. And the first person to be in the line is going to get their stuff first and they're going to be out first. Now a stack is the opposite of that. A stack is a, um, a collection that uses LIFO or so L-I-F-O which means last in first out. So an example of this would be let's say you're counting cards or you set one down and then you set the next one on top of it and you start stacking them on top of each other well the last one you put down is going to be the first one that you can pick up so let's go ahead and make a little demo of a stack so we'll come up here and we'll type private my stack as new stack so we've created a new stack and now what we need to do is we need to add some items to this stack now um, you can store uh, whatever data type you want in here because the the argument for push uh, or to add to the stack uh, takes object although I have read that it is not good to use uh, different data types in it and that you want to stick to the same data type so what we're going to do is we're going to type my stack dot push and it says insert an object at the top of the stack so it's going to be the last object and it's going to be the first one out so this would be the equivalent of uh, adding to an array list or in queuing for a queue. So we'll just go ahead and push one, and we'll do this for some more values. So my stack dot push two, we'll push three, and we will just push four after this. Now we we can also make duplicates of four you do not have to go in a certain numerical order so what we can do is we can either remove an item from the stack or which is the last item that is added or we can peek at it just like we can do with a queue and it won't take it out so let's go ahead and make a little demo of this so we'll type message box and then we will do um, my stack dot um, pop and it says remove, removes and returns the object at the top of the system.collections.stack so what this is going to do is it's going to remove one and it's going to return it back to the caller so when we call pop it gets returned back to the message box and that's what's going to display um, in the message box and we'll just go ahead and convert that to a string for our message box and you can see that if we go ahead and run this it gives us four because it is last in first out and the last item we put in there was four so we'll type my stack dot pop and it should give us four again because we have two fours in there so it pops out the last four and then this one it pops out the four before that now if we do that one more time it will give us the value of three so you can see that it gives us three right there now we can also do peak so if we type my stack dot peak um, it'll peak the um, last value in there so we popped out four and we popped out four again so what we have is three and then if we type message box my stack dot pop dot to string it will remove three in there so it's going to give us three and it's going to give us three again because we never actually removed it we just peeked at it so go ahead and practice with some stacks and some cues as well. and just remember that stacks are LIFO or last in first out and cues are first in first out so once you got a little practice with some of those collection types then uh, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and thanks for watching